hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for the love thank you for liking my videos for leaving your comments today i'll be showing you i made this doma dress it's very easy to make beginner friendly one of my subscribers told me to make like beginner friendly clothes most especially with rubber but this doesn't have any rubber on it but it's very very simple to make in just minutes please if you are yet to subscribe do well subscribe to my channel and help me give this video a thumbs up so let's quickly get into the video so to make this dress you need the this dress is for a five years old it's very simple you need your fabric and bias tape so I'm working with one meter of fabric. I already folded my fabric into two and then into two again. That's into four. You can see, let me open it up. So I just folded it into two. This is the width of the fabric, how it came. You can see the edge. So this was the width, how it came. So I just folded it into two, like so. And then folded it again into two. So this width of the fabric is what I will be using as the length of the dress. And then the one meter of the fabric is what I will be using as uh, the width of the dress. So you need your measurements that you will need. You need your shoulder measurement, your bust measurement and the length of the dress also you need your neck neck width measurement so for the length i'll be using the length of um 20 i'll be using the length of 25 inches so i'm going to measure 25 plus one inch seam allowance making 26 i will use one inch to run the bottom so the next thing i'm going to measure is the shoulder the shoulder width is on fold is five inches so because it's having sleeve and the sleeve is cut together i'm going to add extra four inches to it so that's five plus four that's nine inches i'm going to mark it so for the armhole depth the armhole depth normally is five inches but i'm going to come down by seven inches or seven and a half because five because i don't want it too tight so i'm going to mark seven so draw this up to seven. So on this seven, I'm going to determine the chest measurement, which is 24. You are going to divide 24 into four places, which will give you six inches. So I'm going to, because it's not having any zip at the back, I'll be adding two inches. So six plus two, that's eight. Eight is right here. This armhole, just trace it out. From this armhole, you can choose to do it like so because it's a free dress, you don't want it tight. So now I'm going to cut the neck. For the neck, I'm going to take two and a half for the width. The neck width, I'm going to take two and a half, and the neck depth, I'm going to take. Three inches. I'm just going to cover it. It's the round neck. So this for the front, and then for the back, I'm going to make the back a little bit higher. I'm going to take one and a half as the uh, depth for the back neck. So I'm gonna cut the back first and then i'll cut the sides 
then I will separate it and then cut the um, neck depth for the front. So now because the shoulder, you can see it was the width of the fabric I used. So you don't even have to stitch the shoulder at all. So now let me separate it and I need to separate it like so, like so. So, because you want it to easily enter the child's head, I'm going to be opening the back. I'm just going to measure maybe about four inches and slit it. Or I can even Curve it a bit. I'm gonna curve it a bit. So this is for the back, and this is the front. So now on this sleeve, I'm going to sew this bias on it, like so. I'm gonna sew it like so up to this place or you can open up your bias and sew from the back you're going to sew it like so to the other end after sewing it you use it to turn it to the front just to make it wider that way it will be wide like this so I think that's what I will do and I will do it for the other side. So let me go and do the sides and then for the neck. I'm going to sew here like so. I'm going to start from here. Got to sew it like so. Just sew it tiny along there, along this V part, then to the other side. When I get here, I'll cut the bias and then I'll show you how I'm going to run the neck because I'm going to be using this bias tape to knot it at the back. Because I'm not putting any body. Yeah. So guys, I've um, sewn the bias on the sleeve on both sides and on the back neck cut. So it's just to add the bias to the front neck. So I'm going to leave maybe about 10 inches before I start sewing it. 
I'm going to leave about 10 inches and then I'll, I'll sew it from the back that's from inside. So if I did, because you have to leave it some amount, that's what you use to tie it at the back. So I'm going to sew it around. After sewing it, I'll flip it over like I did for this and the sleeve. So I'm just going to sew it around like so. Leave another 10 inches on the other side just so that I can use to knot it at the back. So I'm done putting the I'm done yeah, attaching the joining the size like this was neck, on the bottom and this the bias on the neck and this the rope tight on the, the back. If you like this so next video, thing, please leave me a thumbs up. Share this video. Next thing I'm just going to turn the back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. I will see and you guys this in my next here, video. I'm going Bye. to stitch it. One or half inch. I'm going to stitch one inch down to the bottom and i'll do the same for the other side and this is just stitch one inch and do the same for the other side this is sarah this is my mom she's the one who made this dress for me i'm going to make some food for mom uh oh and some grapes uh oh now some strawberry now some cherries take you back i'm with that room i'm with that room i'm looking